Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video of Dev Talks with your host Travy, and I just want to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me uh, through every video. Today, Rivian came out with some news, and we gonna go over it real quick. So, without further ado, let's tune in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. It really helps out the algorithm. For me, I really appreciate it. And let's just hear out what they just posted. It's so important that as an industry, we create solutions or products that are really exciting to customers. Products that compel them to make the switch from an internal combustion engine vehicle to an electric vehicle. And getting buyers of vehicles exposed to the benefits of a well-developed, highly compelling EV that fits their form factor needs, their price point needs, their storage and cargo capacity needs is really important. You know, the feeling of acceleration, the feeling of a completely redefined software architecture and software experience in the vehicle, and also the way that we approach the vehicle getting better and better over time. Well, the car of today is so different from the car of before, and technology is really one of the biggest differentiators. So if you look at the complexity of semiconductors that's available in the car today, there is nothing that compares. For many of our customers, that will be the most powerful computer that they own will be actually their Rivian. With our vehicles being software defined, it gives us the opportunity to look at design. What car design has a better design? What we're looking at now with Rivian or Tesla? I don't know how many of you guys, Pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a Tesla design looks like, but I'm still liking this Rivian screen. Like the Tesla screen takes up the whole panel right there and I get it does everything, but this does almost everything as well too. Like, I really think I enjoy Rivian's screen way better because they're doing it in a much smaller scale, which gives you more of that traditional kind of car feeling in an EV. So, I don't know. ...in different ways that we haven't been able to do before. We have a Rivian DNA and we wanted to look and feel like a Rivian and people need to experience it like a Rivian. We have an architecture where we are able to continuously improve the software over and over and faster with the new generation. When we do the hardware ourselves, we actually have that flexibility. So you buy a vehicle on day one and on day 300, it's a different vehicle, it's a better vehicle. Oh, I see what they are trying to say right now. They're not talking about structurally. They're talking about internally with all the chips and stuff, with all the maintenance and everything. They're like, hey, you give it a year. They'll have a new model out in a year. Unless you're just returning cars all the time. That's one of the things that I, I want to talk about real quick. They, like, they just specifically said, hey, in 300 days, you'll have a whole new car, new experience, right? I went to go look at cars before, and I went to the dealership, the Porsche dealership. And you know, the Porsche Taycan is an electric car. And what the salesman said to me when I was looking at it is, hey, you don't wanna buy this, you wanna more likely lease it. And there's one reason particularly for that. The cars, electric cars update so often and get updated so much, it's better to lease them than to buy them. Now, do you agree with that? Because in, in my head, I think that's a wonderful idea what to do because they're going to constantly update. They're going to constantly have be able to perform better on the new year's model. So do you want to keep laying on one that can't hold a software update in two years or do you want to get a new one? I, I mean, I would keep that in, in mind. That's what I would do. We can talk about the incredible performance with our new quad motor, which does a quarter mile in 10 and a half seconds. We can talk about the massive cost reductions we've achieved in our bill of materials. This part here takes close to 20 components and consolidates it down to one. We can talk about how it's easier to build. This system automatically goes through and marries onto the chassis. It's all automation. It's smoother. It's more seamless. But one of the things we also really want to make sure it's clear is just how the program timeline was managed, not only achieving significant cost improvements, but also laying out the architecture for our future products, R2, R3, and beyond. 
adding hundreds of robots, changing some of the flow, the layout, improving the efficiency of how we build the vehicles, which is ultimately going to allow us to run the plant 30% faster. In-house testing in real time. I want to see these videos from Tesla. I want to see these kinds of videos from Tesla. I like Rivian just that much more because we're getting a deep dive on why they're doing what they're doing and why they're making certain kinds of decisions. I, I'm loving it because of that, because I don't remember the last, every warehouse video I see of Tesla is somebody getting hurt in it or laid off. I'm not joking. I, I don't see, hey, we're able to do this 30% faster with all of these people in here, blah, 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 this is what we do with these people and all that. It doesn't look too crowded as far as workers though. That's one thing, but. Hey, that's this one. I want to see this from Tesla. And faster troubleshooting so we can reduce the footprint while increasing the output. Ooh, black We're making thousands and thousands of decisions every day. And the element of alignment that, that we see across them is a desire to make sure that we're building a company that helps drive towards a better world. What defines a Rivian can really stretch beyond what we think it can be today. We already have a vehicle people love. We're making it more accessible. We're making it more feature-rich, more capable. We have motivated teams working together. Yo, they're really pushing these Rivians in these clips over here. Like, look. Look how quickly they're pushing it in the, in the woods, yo. More capable. We have motivated teams working together every day to deliver the best experience to our customers. When we wake up in the morning, this is how we operate as a company. What we've learned in terms of launching a complex product, turning on a supply chain, ramping the supply chain, is all coming together as we now think about the next phase of growth with how far we see the ability to push our company and our products beyond what we've seen with R1. So, why we build our technology in-house? I guess that kind of gives you an update as far as why they do it, but I wanted to see more, like specific details and things. It, it was That seemed like a little generic commercial for one of their new cars that they try to be cute with and everything, but I still think it was a cool video. Nevertheless, it kind of gives you some hype around Rivian. Mind you, last year, I put Rivian as number five on my top five companies last year. No, don't kill me. As my video for that, it's my first video like of this year. I did that first video ever with my face in it. And this is the first video I've seen from Rivian all year. And, and something that was more or less positive. So they won't be making the top five list this year, but this is definitely good to see. From them why they and it kind of gives you more of a perspective of why they do what they do and kind of how they're doing it first away like they they showed you guys with the glasses and all the tech stuff like let's go uh where was it at like all this uh i seen somebody with glasses on with the ar glasses I feel like i just missed them no that's a helmet they're in here but like just seeing the like the processes Generation. of who's doing Ourselves? what, we actually I wish it gave like who the people speaking, who exactly they are, but I can't find it, of course. Now that I'm looking for, we're something. making thousands and thousands of decisions. Every there, it just it goes by so quickly. That's why it's hard to find. But it's just showing how they're using some of the technology, how they're getting to the end goal, and doing all of that kind of stuff. I, I actually like seeing stuff like that. I think this was a, a great video of trying, seeing more inside of the minds and the heads of Rivian. And I just want to know more of like how they're using this stuff. Like this was just a sneak peek and everything. And I guess they can't exactly tell you every little detail, but Elon, watch out. They come in for your cyber trucks. But without further ado, hope you guys all like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And see you guys next time. Peace.